Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to yet another episode of Tokyo Yo Reviews. Sorry, I'm being a little more quiet this evening here. Uh, my 15-month-old baby is asleep, so I'm going to be kind of whispering this review out. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about the Yo-Yo Empire Star Moon today. So let's get started. So, yeah, another Yo-Yo Empire. Um, as I mentioned, this is the Star Moon. That's the one we're going to be talking about today. So, the material of this Yo-Yo, um, it's another palm uh, Yo-Yo here. Uh, you can see the purple uh, body with the white cup area. And then there's this sort of silver part here. I don't know if that's metal inlay or what this is, but it definitely does... You can feel like it's, it feels like a different piece in there, but I'm not sure if it's just a uh, shiny plastic or if, if this is metal. And the shape of this yo-yo is, I guess you'd call that a H shape. It's got kind of bigger rims, but it also has the slope of a V, so I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, the feel of this yo-yo is very comfortable. Um, as with all the yo-yo empire uh, yo-yos, it's very comfortable in the hand. And the look of this yo-yo is really nice. Uh, again, all of yo-yo empire stuff I feel is, is really nice looking. Um, you can get tons of different colorways of this yo-yo. There's this exact one, uh, except like the white part here is green, like this kind of you know yellowy green. Um, there's tons of different colorways uh, on spin gears, eight or nine, I think last time I checked. And of course, the crazy thing, I guess, about this yo-yo is um, it's a hub stack yo-yo, which I think is pretty cool. So basically, my history with hub stack yo-yos is pretty limited. I knew one person who played with a hubstack yo-yo and it was pretty garbage. It spun out after about five seconds or so. But I was actually in the market for a hubstack yo-yo and then by complete chance or coincidence or whatever, um, I was looking on Spin Gear and they had put this up and it was you know, not only Yo-Yo Empire, who I'm starting to really love, but also it was a hubstack. I just was like, it's perfect. This thing is really well balanced, just like the um, Big Bang, just like the Tsunami. And actually, the grinds feel even better on this. Like, it was kind of crazy. Like, when I was throwing grinds, they almost felt automatic. Like, I wasn't even trying. Like, I would throw a grind up, and it would just sit on my finger. And I, I wasn't even trying to do it. I, I don't know what it is with these yo-yos. They are just so well balanced. It's, it's insane. You might expect a Hubstack yo-yo to... Um, you know, not perform that well, I guess. But actually, these stacks work pretty darn well. Um, I've been really impressed with them so far. They're really, really smooth. Um, you know, you don't feel a lot of vibration. Um, you can feel them moving, but besides that, it's not like a crazy vibration. It's not rattling or anything. It's pretty quiet for a hub stack. I mean, it still has that kind of wing. when you start it up, but not nearly as loud as some other Hubstack yo-yos I've played with. This one just kind of blew me away. Like, I've played with other Hubstack yo-yos, as I said, but this one just, like, kind of took my expectations and just, like, blew them away. And that's what I find, like, this company, Yo-Yo Empire, constantly does. It's just the stuff they put out just kind of always looks interesting and looks cool, but it always way exceeds the expectations that people have for them. All the stuff that they put out is just really cool. The timing of this yo-yo for me was pretty perfect. Um, not only, like I said, was I in the market for one, but I'm actually getting to a point where I'm starting to learn a lot of slack and uh, whips and um, things like that, more advanced tricks. And um, it's getting a bit frustrating. I'm throwing a lot of knots. Um, I'm kind of hitting a wall. When I first started with yo-yos, um, I was stuck in responsive for a long time and I just couldn't seem to get past this wall. And I gave up for a while, actually. I got really busy at work, and I just stopped throwing for a long time. And I got back into it again, but now that I'm finding... I've been in response, unresponsive for a while, um, I'm starting to get kind of that frustration again. And so this was just, like, the perfect answer to that. Just, like, when I got this, like, the first hour I was playing with it, I was just giggling and 
like kind of losing my mind just like this is crazy you do like I was throwing it in front of my wife while we were eating dinner and just say like look at this this is, this is so awesome uh, you know just having a good really good time with it when you're practicing and you're kind of frustrated and you're banging your head against a trick over and over it starts to lose its fun a little bit and then you know this is the perfect break time yo-yo when you're just like I don't want to do anything I don't want to work on the trick I'm trying to practice. I don't want to try to make up a trick. I just want to like do something silly, do something fun. Like this thing, this thing's hilarious. And like I know that a lot of people consider hub stack yo-yos as like a novelty. And I mean, they're not really something you would compete with or something that a lot of people even take seriously these days. For me, and maybe it's just because it's fresh and it's one of the first I've had, but this one just, it's so fun to me like it's becoming an everyday carry which is kind of crazy like I'll come home and practice with like someone drops um, or yo-yo factories or whatever but when I go out and I just want to like go to the park and watch my kid run around and you know just do something silly with a hump stack yo-yo it's it's like it's perfect um, first pro it looks cool I think, and I say this about all the Yo-Yo Empire, but um, I think it's just really neat looking. I think their colorways are really cool. I think their design choices are really cool. Yeah, no problems there. Um, it's really smooth, as I said, like the palm that they use, the way they do whatever they do to get it, this kind of consistency is really nice. Grinds really well, catches really well. Uh, it has really good spin times for a hub stack. Um, it's nothing crazy. You're not gonna be like throwing really, really insane combos, but I think for having stacks, it does pretty good. And it's just so fun. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep coming back to this. It's just so fun to play with. I, I think it's really crazy that I didn't get one of these before because this thing is just, it's a blast. As far as cons, um, the spin times are not, you know, like astronomical. They're totally gonna be enough to get you through pretty much any combo you're doing, but uh, if you're throwing some really crazy, you know, tech stuff, it's probably not gonna be uh, right for you. And of course, like, you don't get a hub stack yo-yo for tech, right? Um, some of the binds have been a little tricky for me. Uh, I don't know. I find that I have to feed a lot more string and I have to be really, really deliberate with getting this thing to bind. Um, but as long as I've got my mind set to it and I remember to do it, it, that's never a problem. It's more like when I'm in the middle of something or I'm uh, trying to do something kind of flashy and I forget that it needs a little extra uh, to bring it back that I will miss it and uh, it's a bit heavy I think it's um, 68.6 I believe which is pretty heavy uh, you know right about 69 grams um, of course that makes sense with the hub stacks but you know if, if you're not a big fan of this that kind of weight it may be a bit much but that being said it's pretty small for that too I think a lot of hub stack yo-yos are, are a bit bigger or um, at least they're a bit kind of chunky, but this feels, you know, totally fine. And um, we can see that the hub stack doesn't go past the profile, so it's very well balanced. And it's, as far as the shape goes, it's stable. There's no, no real big problems there. It's just about as stable as any other plastic I play with. But yeah, guys, so that's the Yo-Yo Empire Star Moon, very interestingly named. Um, I, I think this company is awesome I, I just I love everything that they do and they've got like they've been showing this picture of something on um, Instagram I think like the leader of the rings I think it's called I think it's a bimetal and it looks like it has like some kind of hub stack or some kind of cup system like what is going on with these guys it's it's awesome I think it's really cool that they're just out there doing this wild stuff they're, they're just doing the stuff that's off the beaten path that other companies I think don't want to try to do because it's risky. But yeah, so that's the review for today. So um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, I appreciate everybody who subscribed so far, giving me thumbs up, giving me views, um, giving me advice. I love the advice and suggestions. It really helps me try to make every episode better. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned um, at, in the first episode is uh, I don't plan on taking my yo-yos apart for reviews um, unless it helps the review in some way. Uh, I had a really helpful comment on Reddit 
uh, where the person mentioned that um, in my Skyber review, I mentioned that the bearing seats have been messed up and I should have uh, kind of shown that off. It would have helped. And I totally agree. So in the future, if uh, it helps to take the yo-yo apart to show people, I will be doing that. But otherwise, I won't do that. I'll just talk about the pads or the bearing or whatever. Uh, or not even that. I might just have it as something at the bottom. So just so you keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, guys. Hopefully the next review will be outside again or I don't have to be as quiet as I am in here. That's the review of the Yo-Yo Empire Star Moon. Um, hopefully this yo-yo will help you shoot for the stars. Thank you.